All right, so we got the 24 inch 243 Winchester right side charging handle 416R stainless steel. This got the lightweight barrel with the 1 8 twist rifle length gas system. Got the 15 inch M lock split rail, and this goes on the AR 10 lower. This thing is super long. I think this is longer than my bolt actions I got. My 30 ox 6 and 308, I believe this is longer. So when I seen them, they had a 24 inch because I was about to get a 20 or a 22, but then I seen a 24, so I just went with that. I wanted something longer, try to get the maximum velocity out of the round. The 243 is a neck down 308. So it should be softer recoil than um, 6.5 Creedmoor and 308, because they say the 6.5 Creedmoor is supposed to be softer than the 308. So I never really uh, ran them back to back because the recoil in the Scar 20S is kind of heavy. So, um, but I know it's a different platform from the AR10 6.5 Creedmoor I got in the 20 inch. And I do have a 16 inch 308. But um, I already got some 20s and I like to play around with different barrel lengths. So these was the longest ones I seen. I also got a 22 250 coming in a 24 inch barrel. And I did see that they make Grendel in 24 inch barrel, but the Grendel may be led later. I already got a 20 in that and a 10 and a half. So I like to play with uh, a lot of different barrels, put them on a chronograph, see what type of velocity you get out of it. Um, they got the rounds I got for this so far is these right here, which is 100 grain. I think these go down, the lowest I've seen was 60 grain. And I gotta see what the highest I've seen, but here's some of the stuff right here. So this, and that depends on which barrel they uh, test this on 29, 60 feet per second, leaving the muzzle. And like I said, we'll just get that on the chronograph and see. And these are soft points. So I'm gonna definitely uh, do some comparison. I know the barrel longer, but you know, we still can do some comparisons with the 20 inch. I got a 5.56 five, and 20 inch and like 350 legend and stuff like that so and play around with the weights of the ammo but this thing is very long and that's with the buttstock collapse you bring that buttstock out yeah when you bring that out then i can also suppress this also so I'm gonna try the R9 suppressor on here and see. Imagine with the suppressor on there, that's about another six inches. So that'd be damn near a 30 inch barrel with the um, suppressor on it. So I just threw that um, red dot on there for now, just to uh, get it zero and get take a couple shots at the range. See what it feel like. I never shot 243 before. I know a lot of them be in boat action. So we just wanna make sure the gun's cycling right. Try it out regular, then try it out suppressed and see how it's running. But um, it takes the regular 308 Max, the P Max. So that's all I got for, um, I think I got a couple other brand mags but i mainly got the mag pool so yeah i don't know what scope i'm gonna put on here yet but like i said i just got these crimson trace red dots we'll throw that on for now because we won't be shooting nothing past 
200 for right now. You know, later on, once we get to like a 400, 500 yard range, which we should be doing that about this summer. Um, take the scar and some other guns out there, mainly the 20 inches, everything that I got on with the bipod. So I just got to get a bipod for this one. Probably not doing no backup sights. And I grabbed some scope. I don't know which one I'm going to put on there. But for now, this to work up to about 100 yards with the red dot. I got a times three. I can probably, I never shot with the times three with the 200. But we could try it out and see. But pretty much for chronograph and all that, just using this basic red dot, get a little zero on it. So, can't wait to test this out. Bullet weights ranging from 55 grains to 115. So, we definitely gonna see. We gonna compare it, like I said, I'm gonna do some videos comparing this next to the 556, 223 VMAX, whatever like that. 65 Creep, more, um, of course 308 and 65 Grindel. I'm gonna compare it with that. But yeah, I'm still waiting on the 22, 250. That's definitely next. And that's on the, also on the AR-10 platform and use the same magazines. So we're gonna be doing that and I'm working on getting different grain ammo and different stuff. And um, I'm gonna try to get this break off of here and see what the um, thread pitch is and see if I can get my suppressor on there. Hopefully, I've seen this. Is, I'm looking at some ammo right now. But yeah, I've seen some that's 48 grain. So it's all type of different kind of ammo. I'm looking at it right now. But yeah, most of the ammo that I've seen, they tested it. It was in a 24 inch barrel for the 243 Winchester. So. I think we should get the maximum out of that. And like I said, this this is saying 29.60. So yeah, we're gonna have some more ammo. I'm gonna use this first because I got that, and um, we're gonna get it zero. And I'm gonna get some full metal jackets. Those are soft points. I'm gonna get some full metal jackets and some other stuff. And I do an update video if I can get this suppressor on here. All right, so that's what the 243 look like. I'm gonna do a side by side comparison. Got a couple other rounds. So here's the 308. So that's next to a 308. Let's see if I can sit them right here. So yeah, that's next to a 308. And that's why they use the same magazine. This next to a 6.5 Creedmoor. So next to a 6.5 Creedmoor, which is on the right, 308 on the left. Then we got 300 Blackout. Blackout, and then last will be that's a two two three. So three oh eight, two forty three, six five, three hundred blackout, and two two three. Motivation, I see your movement is in effect. And I fucking love that shit. Let's get it.